What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing for you of the HTC Evo Shift 4G. It's got quite a long name, it's a 4G Android running smartphone for Sprint. Let's go ahead and dig in and see if Shift happens. Alright, so this was sent right from the folks at Sprint. We are going to bring in a long lost friend to help us. Senor Stabby, the big old knife, making a comeback. Go ahead and cut into this package, and you'll do the whole unboxing thing. We'll run through the specs, we'll talk about the price. We'll do, of course, some size comparisons. We'll go ahead and rip this open. Looks like there's some uh, PR material from Sprint in there. Go ahead and push that off to the side for just a minute. Continue to uh, dig in. There we go. Sprint. Evo Shift 4G, a little bit of a long name, but no problem. So they're telling us it's a demo unit on the side. There's some demo unit information. Uh, here we've got what's in the box, but we're going to see what's in the box. There's a picture of it. We're going to run through all that business, Android experience, blah, blah, blah. Let's go ahead and open her up. And here we have the HTC Evo Shift 4G. A lot of names. It's like Sally, Jesse, Raphael. Go ahead and tilt that over a little bit so we can get it out. Boom, we've been shifted. All right, so let me run through the specs real quickly and then we'll take a look at what else is in the box. If this looks reminiscent of the Evo, it's because, well, it's supposed to. But also I know if I leave it like this and run through the specs, the comments are gonna be filled with take off the plastic. So I will first take off the plastic. All right, we are looking at a 3.6 inch diagonal screen. The resolution of 480 by 800. It's being powered by Android 2.2. This is an HTC built device. Um, and as such, it is rocking Sense, which is the newest version of Sense. Uh, it's got a Qualcomm 800 megahertz processor, 512 megabytes of RAM. On the back, there is a 5 megapixel camera with autofocus and flash. I'll go ahead and peel off the plastic too because I don't want to hear it. <laughs> uh, the camera can shoot video at 1280 by 720 so that is 720p. The back has a bit of a soft touch feel to it. It's got a very nice uh, feel in the hand. We've got four capacitive buttons across the bottom, so our typical Android buttons. Home button, menu button, back button, and search. Proximity sensor on top. This does not have a front facing camera. On the left hand side, you're going to have your volume rockers up and down and your micro USB charging port. On the right hand side, you're not going to have very much. Bottom, not going to have very much other than a microphone port. Looks like the back to pull it off and get to the battery. Top, there's going to be your power button, 3.5 millimeter headset jack. And when you slide this guy out, you're going to have a surprisingly non-spring loaded full QWERTY keyboard here with D-pad. Uh, and this, I have had a chance to get my hands on this phone before. Uh, the keyboard is actually very nice. Uh, I don't like the fact that there's a lot of pressure you have to apply to slide this open. I really do like when it's a spring-loaded keyboard. Uh, the keyboard here is very nice. There's a decent amount of key throw despite its sliding mechanism. You can sort of see it from the side. Uh, plenty of room for your fingers to rest on the keys. Big space part which I like. I'm not so sure how often you're going to use a D-pad, but you do have the option for it being here. Uh, and you can use the middle to select, so technically it's a five-way D-pad. You've got your enter and delete buttons and of course functions as well. Go ahead and push that off and we'll power that guy on in just a minute. But let's see what else we are going to get in your Evo Shift box. Go ahead and pull all that stuff up. So you've got your Sprint getting started. So we can go ahead and get started. You got a USB cable and a power. Pretty uh, Spartan affair in here, but that's what you are going to get. And as the 4G name implies, this is a 4G phone, so it's going to be running on Sprint's WiMAX network. It looks like the battery is installed here, and the battery is going to be a 1500 milliamp hour battery. Let's go ahead and turn this on and take a look at what we're going to see. And I should mention the power button is a bit sort of recessed on an angle, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, so it's a little bit strange to get used to. If you use your thumb to hit it, uh, you're going to have a very hard time. You're going to have to use actually your forefinger uh, to get to that as well. Alright, so while this is booting up, let's do a quick size comparison. Uh, if you're looking for a Sprint 4G phone with a full quarter keyboard, uh, chances are you're probably going to want to cross-shop this, or you will be cross-shopping, uh, with more of the flagship 
This is the Epic 4G, especially for a size comparison here. This is uh, Sprint's Galaxy S device. Now it does have, of course, a full QWERTY keyboard, uh, and it is using the Hummingbird processor, so it is going to be a bit faster. Uh, from a price standpoint, at least prices are always subject to change, uh, Sprint right now is charging a very reasonable $149 uh, for the Evo Shift 4G. Something to keep in mind, if you're price conscious, you're going to get a very capable, uh, at least what appears to be on paper, very capable phone. It looks like it's going to be dying on us in just a minute. Uh, you can get a chance to see what this looks like. And here, I'm sure you guys have all seen Sense in the past. Uh, this is actually not the newest version of Sense. We've got that little paintbrush icon on the bottom right. You can customize different skins. Uh, this appears to be just standard version of HTC Sense, which as far as Android skins go, is definitely one of my favorite. And you are getting the newest version of Sense. This is, uh, uh, sorry, this is one of the newer versions of Android, rather, 2.2. You're not sitting on 2.3 gingerbread. Um, the version of Sense that's on here is newer than other US release devices, uh, but hopefully we'll see that newest version of Sense uh, make its way to <laughs> devices coming soon. That was a lot of stumbling. All right, so here uh, is the phone. It looks good. It feels nice in the hand. Uh, the capacitive buttons appear to work very well. The phone looks like it's really going to die on me. Uh, for some other size comparisons, so let me bring back the Epic. You can see how this looks. Uh, so you're going to get a little bit of a smaller screen size too with the Evo Shift, the 3.6 versus uh, the 4 inch on the Epic. But people um, you know, generally like that smaller screen size. Uh, if that's going to be your thing, you're going to get a much smaller form factor uh, as well. If you really uh, are concerned about screen resolution, having the fastest specs, uh, you're going to want to look at the Epic a little bit more. Uh, if you want just a capable phone that's going to have nice messaging features and be able to do all your multitasking, uh, you're going to want to give 